I'm out here in South Louisiana, down below Alexandria. I'm out here with my friend Benjamin. Say hello, Benjamin. And his son is out here with us, and uh, we just pulled up, and now look at look at this in the background. Look at this plantation. Look at this plantation. That's beautiful, isn't it? And uh, right across the street, right over here, was uh, paddle boats had pulled up over there. And this whole area was uh, just all where the Union troops were coming back. And uh, we have all this field, this plantation, we have all of this. So we're going to have a good time today. So uh, without any further ado, let's go suit up and let's go have some fun. Plantation home from 1820. All right, I'm going to be hunting with my Equinox 800 today, and uh, I'm going to leave it in Park One, and we're going to leave. Uh, Noise cancellation right there, ground balance, we're gonna leave the same volume, same threshold, the same target, except re reject at negative nine. Recovery speed, we're gonna bring it down to about a, uh, let's, let's try a four, I like four. And uh, so let's get out of that. We're gonna put the full horseshoe on. Let's run sensitivity up to 21. And uh, I think we're set and ready to go. So let's uh, go see what we can find. It's getting a 30, 32 signal right here. This is gonna be a good tone. Let's go see what this is gonna be. Let's dig it live. Could be a piece of lead. I've been digging some lead up already. So hopefully it's gonna be a nice big silver coin. That would be really good. All right, it's in the plug. Probably gonna be trash. It's right there. Nope, it's gonna be a coin. And it's just gonna be a quarter, a clad quarter. For real, 1990. Ah. Who would have thought a clad quarter out here in 1820s plantation? Oh, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? That's just beautiful. Got an old cannon right over there. So we're going to keep working this out. Hey, if there's one coin, there's got to be more, right? Let's keep going. Well, I got my first little target here. It's a piece of jewelry. It's ringing up like an 18 to a 19. 
let me uh, get my other camera. Let me clean this up and we'll uh, see what this is. Looks like maybe a looks like a clip-on earring. It's not going to be old. Yeah, it's just going to be like a clip-on earring. Yeah, let's just rub that. I think that's what it's going to be. All right, I won't clean it up. Let's just keep on going. Well, it's starting to rain. Hopefully it'll blow over. But I just got a solid 19, dug it up, and check that out, folks. That is what I'm looking for right there. That is a, that is a drop three ringer. And I'm not too far away from the plantation. I came over here in this other field, this other yard, and I'm gonna search, search this over here, get away from the house, because it seems like it's been hunted before. But yeah, got a three ringer right there. I'll take that. We know the Union troops are walking through here. I'm just right across the street from the bayou. They came up in river boats right here. And so you know they walk through here. And uh, that's what we're looking for right there. Maybe I get a CS plate or a US plate. That'd be great. Let's keep on going. Uh, Benjamin saying he's got something over here. Let's check him out. Something. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe you know what it is. It's brass colored looking, shaped like an arrowhead, and maybe shot with a bullet. Looks like a bullet. But what is it? It looks like a fob. If you clean that right there, see if that's not a slit. Can you get a brush? Mm -hmm. That may be an arrowhead fob. I've dug a couple of those before. So yep, that's what exists. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not a shot. That's a, That's an Indian head on it. It is. It's a uh, face. I'll check that out. Let me get my other camera and we'll get a close up on this. All right, see, it's gonna be a. Oh yeah, that looks awesome, man. It's got some detail in it, don't it? That's got great detail. Oh, I wish I would have found this. It's got the gold gild on it too. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Let me get it that right on the top. Look at that. Wow, that's a good find. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. I never found nothing like this before. So it's not a bullet hole. No, I thought somebody shot it. No. I found dimes with indentions it's like embossed. that before. It's embossed. Definitely check that out. That is a nice find. We have to research that. That looks kind of old. All Congratulations, right. man. All right. All right, let's, let's keep, keep going. On. We're back out here in day two. Got the drone up there. Just met up with Lee and Alicia over here. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hey, back with Ben. So we're back out here on day two, gonna see what we can come up with. And uh, at an old spot, we're gonna be hunting over here amongst these trees and all out in this field out here. And uh, hopefully we're gonna find some Civil War relics. And that's what we're looking for and trying to get Lee and Alicia with Adventures and Romance, get them some uh, shots for their fall show, Adventure and Romance, and uh, see what we can come up with. So let's get with it, let's go have some fun. Oh, it was a mess from yesterday, all the mud, everything's wet got the the max out the pro out and the equinox out and uh, check that out that's up there Hi, drone. they got their uh, drone out giving us an aerial shot so I got to get mine out now too so we get we're gonna get lock and loaded and get swinging let's go
I decided to come out in the field, just started playing with a dog, throwing a stick to it, corn stalk. Came over here, took off, first target. Check this out. Check this out, right there, right on the surface. It's silver. I don't know what it is yet. There's my buddy right there. There you go. Go, go. Look at there, look at there. Let's, let's get the holy water out. Let's see what this is gonna be. Oh, let me get my other camera. We'll get a close up. Oh, top wow. of the ground. I don't know if it's old. It looks like maybe a mercury dime or something like that. Have to refill yeah. your holy water. Yeah, it's gonna be a mercury. Hey, it's still silver though. Check that out. Ooh. Still That's a silver, there. little silver there. Beauty. Let me clean that up. I don't wow, where were y'all on that one? Y'all been hunting over here all day, and I come over here first target. first target. That's some people just walk in the light. <laughs> you gotta have the blessing. Uh oh. I don't know if it's. Uh, there we go. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Was it on top of the ground? Yeah, sit right on top of the ground. Check that out. All right. All right, my buddy won't leave me alone. All right, you want to throw it one more time? Go get it. All right, this is going to be a 1943 Mercury Dime, if I can hold on to it. All right. It's not old, but hey, it's silver. I'll take it. All right, Fido, let's go. I was detecting along this little furrow, and check that out. We got some bird eggs there. Mama bird will be back later on to sit on them, I guess. And check this out. Look at that, right there. It's a nice little skeleton key right on top of the ground. I like that. That's going to date it pretty good, too. All right, let's uh, put that in the finds box and let's keep on going. Well, we can tell we've been taking a break, it's been raining. And, but we're trying to get in between the storms and I'm glad we got back out here because I got back out here my first target is a 19 signal and check this out folks look at this oh come on what is it oh come on one dime I see one dime is that going to be seated is that going to be barber oh I don't know let's play the game here let me uh let me get my other camera we'll get a close up on this and we'll get the holy water out Time to break out the holy water. All right, let's see what this is. Let's don't turn it over yet. It's a half dime. Half dime. All right. So if it's a half dime, folks, we know it's going to be seated. Let's flip this baby over. Check that out. There she is. I got sat down today. Check that out right there. What year is that? Can you tell? Ah, uh, 1832? Is that right? Or I can't tell. Maybe you can tell on camera. Wow, check that out, folks. A half dime. Let me get it up a little closer here. Come on, focus. It's so wet out here. I can't tell. It's in great shape, though. Let me get down a little closer. Oh, snap. 53. 1853 seated half dime, folks. How about that, Benjamin? That's fantastic. Thank you for bringing me out here today. You're welcome. Where's mine? Yeah, well, let's keep searching. Maybe go. it's out here. Let's do it. All right, 1853 seated half dime. Got seated out here at the plantation home. We moved on from that other location back over to this other plantation field and we're just uh, working here at this little Baptist church out in the field. I've gotten a wheat penny, Ben and his son's over there and I've got uh, a little key, but here I've dug up a button and uh, don't know if it's going to be a Calvary button or what. So let me get my holy water out. And let me clean it up and see what it is. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, general service button from the mid 1800s Civil War period. I think it's going to be Calvary. May have a C in the middle. I can't really tell out here in the field. I need to clean it up a little bit better. 
But hey, check that out. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. All right, guys, here is our finds for the day. This is Lee and Alicia. Alicia found the blacksmith shop, I think, and she dug up all the iron and uh, they left it here. We're going to dispose of it for them. Here's come the basic thing. I dug a pocket knife and a harmonica reed. I got my, my buckles, my big and small buckles. That's a point to a Model T Ford, I believe. I've got some modern coins, some plastic coin that Lee had found, and then a piece of uh, pottery, Goodwin Brothers. I was going to look that up and see how old that is. Got a clip-on earring. I got a... Uh, Souvenir penny with the alligator on it, a key. Got some uh, glass buttons or porcelain buttons. Got a nice three ringer mini ball. I got a nice round ball and uh, some other pistol shot. My best finds are going to be this 1943 Mercury Dime and then also got that 1853 seated half dime. Check that out. Look at the condition that it's in. And I looked it up last night and this is actually an old mint mark. It's a key mint date. It has no arrow, so it's type 2. Beautiful find. I thought this was the greatest find of the, of the day, the weekend. It is for me, but Benjamin's over here, and uh, he's got his finds laid out. He's got some just typical stuff, an old bottle from the 1800s, uh, some uh, buttons here that he got out in the field, some shotgun head stamps that are pretty old and uh, got him a good bucky balls and a good round ball and uh, got him a couple of got one infield and a sharps i believe no that's two infields no that's a sharp there i believe and an infield some modern money some buckles and some type of decorative piece but here to me is the find of the weekend if you can look at that it's a hanger it's a hanger and uh, you see some little design on it. If you go over here on the front of this thing and clean that up, you'll probably see a pair of snake eyes up there. And uh, it's going to be a snake. And I'm going to let you hold that. Because what you got in your hand, man, is a Confederate sword hanger. Confederate sword hanger. Confederate sword hanger. Uh, I believe it's Confederate. Uh, it's a, I forgot the name of it. I found one. A long time ago out in the fields and I actually thought it was a piece of junk and I threw it in my trash bin for years and years and years and I saw somebody post it online and then I saw it and uh, yeah that is a confederate it's got snake skin design on it or something right here and uh, that's what an officer wore uh, a war and it would have a little piece right here a little clip right there it's broken off that would you know keep it things from coming back off of it but that's a that's a sword hanger for a confederate officer so Fantastic. you got the best find of the day and he didn't even know what it was I didn't know what it was yes I thought it was just a, a thing i'm about all right, all right man anyway. good 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 find good oh, find oh, so that's gonna wrap it up guys here is the trash the treasures and let me go over here i'll show you mine here's all the trash and here is the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in the ground, my friends. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.